Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss very frequently asked, very, very important interview questions. Okay, and also some scenario based questions. Okay, you can fill it as some scenario based question. Okay, so we have we are going to discuss this five. Okay, so find employees hired in last n days. N days means that may be two days or th uh, three days or 60 days, 40 days. Okay, that may be anything else. Okay. And or n months, okay. If you want to find in n months, okay, you can go and find in n months, okay. And then n years, n years means last two years, one year, something like that, okay. And how to find an alternative rows in a table, okay. Find pick only alternative rows, okay. Pick only alternative rows. This is also very uh, frequent asked interview question, okay. And also find the cumulative or totals in a SQL Server. Okay, so that is also we are going to discuss and how to get 99th record, 99th record in a table and how to get a second highest salary. Okay, there are some more questions. Okay, that we will discuss in um, uh, in another video. So for now, I am going to discuss uh, these five questions in this interview. Yes, okay, in this video. Okay, let me create a table with the ID name and salary and higher date. Okay. So I am going to use this table for all. Okay. So this is the table. Okay. So I have created. Okay. So create table table name ID. Uh, so I have created a primary key. Okay. If you are new to primary key and all. Okay. I have created a uh, very clear videos. How what is primary key and all. Okay. And also I am inserting some sample data. Okay. okay? I am inserting some sample data. Uh, let me execute it. Okay. Executed successfully. <coughs> okay. So if you are uh, guys, okay, if you are uh, not familiar with the date functions, okay, if you want to find the, okay, if you want to find the employees who hired uh, in last, okay, if you would change this interval to M month, okay, it will give the month and if it's the interval, okay, date if syntax is, okay, if you are new to date if syntax, okay, you have to go with the, so my previous class date functions are there, okay, you can see the date functions class so that you can understand very well. Okay, what is this uh, uh, function is date diff? Okay, if you see the date diff, okay, guys, okay, so these are the date differences. Okay, this is in date difference in day uh, day wise. Okay, date difference in day wise. Okay, so for for now, uh, like how many uh, date differences? Like zero to thirty days. How many are joined last seven days? If you want to see zero to seven days, or zero to uh, like thirty days. Okay. So you have to use, okay, so the same function, okay, this is giving the days rise, okay, that you have to use in a where class, okay, that you have to use in a where class and you have to use between 0 to 30 days, who has had, okay, so you can go and then, okay, execute. So only one record is came, okay, this is the only one record, if you go with the 60, okay, so how many records will come, see, so these are the last 60 days. This is the people that joined in our company. Okay, this is day wise. Okay, so if you want to see the month, okay, just you have to change the month. Okay, so just to change. Okay, syntax is same. Date if higher date and the current date is okay. Current date is a get date. Okay, get date means today date. Okay, so date if you have to use the month. Okay, month as an interval. So it will give in a month actually. So that day will give the in days. Okay, just go and execute in. Two months okay two months if you want to go with the four months okay so you can go and execute between these four months how many people got joined okay and also the same uh, function for the year also okay so just uh, date diff and uh, year interval okay so what is your higher date and what is your current date okay so so that will give the um, you know, in years also. Okay, if you want to go with the one, two, zero years. Okay, these are the employees. Okay, in this year they got joined. Okay, <clears throat> and so the next one is find alternative rows. Okay, find alternative rows. Okay, so find alternative rows. Okay, so for this guys, okay, if you execute this, okay, for execute if you execute this. Okay, it will give the one, two, three, and four, something like that. Okay, so if you if you mod now, okay, if you uh, divided by two, okay, if you divided by two, rank, okay, rank is giving one, two, three, right? Okay, 
I'm taking that number and I'm divided it by two. Okay, if it is zero, then it will give okay uh, even numbers. Okay, it will give the even numbers. Even number alternative. Okay, second, uh, fourth, sixth, something like that. It will give. Okay, you have to use uh, rank divided by two. Then it will give the zero. Okay, whose marks uh, records match to zero? Then it will give the alternative records. It's okay, very simple. Okay, you have to write a rank function. Okay, so if you are uh, new to roll. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, if you're new to row number function, okay, I have um, created in my previous video. I have uh, explained very well. Okay, then uh, you can go and then uh, watch that video, guys. Okay, so it will give uh, each row number. So then just you have to divide it by. Okay, you have divided by two. Okay, it will give the uh, even number alternative rows. See, two, four, six, and three. okay. If you want a uh, odd number, uh, odd number, something like that. Okay, then you can go and execute uh, which gives a one. Okay, after divided by two, okay, which gives one that is um, odd numbers. Case, okay, odd number alternative rows. Okay, just go here, change it to one. Okay, change it to one. Okay, it will give the alternative rows, odd numbers. Okay, that is even number. This is odd numbers, and then cumulative totals. Case, okay, cumulative totals means like. Uh, if you are, don't know what is cumulative totals means, like let me explain here, guys. Okay. Something like this. Okay. So let me execute the table name. Okay. Where we have the table. Okay. Let me execute it. Just only I'm selecting the table. So let me take with the copy with the header. Let me remove higher date. Higher date is not required. So cumulative sales means okay. Today we have okay order by okay. You when you do the cumulative, like which order you are going to take, okay. Which order you are going to take order by ID I am going to take. So like so that is five. Okay, when you do cumulative, guys, okay, it will do five thousand. Okay, 5,000 plus, again, this is the 5,000, okay. So today you have two rupees, next day you will go with the, uh, so suppose again two rupees, so what is the total you have? Four rupees, okay, again, from tomorrow you will have a six rupees, then how many totals, okay. So every day it will do the cumulative sales and it will give, so, okay. So 5,000, again, the 5,000, 5,000, it's 10,000, okay. So 10,000, okay, 5,000, 10,000, again, 6,000, it will give okay 16000 okay 16000 uh, plus 4500 okay so 20500 something like that okay so it will do the cumulative sales okay it will do the running sales okay that is called cumulative sales or running sales okay so for that you have to write a average and overclass overclass automatically okay when you do the sum and overclass it automatically do the uh, running totals okay if you want average you can write average salary okay average salary and then over class okay okay you can do that case okay just uh, let me okay let me execute this okay so that you can see 5000 5000 5000 10, 10, okay if you go to like that okay it will do the cumulative sales okay and the average okay so in even cumulative average also it will do guys okay so if you write average it will do the cumulative average <coughs> sorry so that is a okay cumulatives okay the next one is how to find a 99th record okay how to find a 99th record but here we don't have a 99th record but uh, if you want to find that case okay uh, find alternative was find a 99th record second highest salary okay just you have to give okay Okay, let me go over right then. Uh, see, let me take this. Okay, so if you if you okay, if you want to find some last, so suppose you have a hundred records. Okay, suppose you have a hundred records. If you want to find a ninth and ninth records or something like that, you can <coughs> you can go and do like this. Okay, I'm writing a derived. Okay, whenever you use the Windows function, you have to go with the derived call derived table or. Um, you can go with the CT case, okay? So here is the window function we have, right? So just write a rank, okay? It will give the each record unique number, okay? Each record unique number, and then 
so you can go okay you can go uh, order by okay you can go order by okay we'll go with the ct then with cte as okay just select the cte okay select star select star from cte okay cte order by <coughs> order by rank descending okay order by rank descending okay rn Let me this. Okay, so when you execute like this, guys, okay, so it will give the uh, descending number, and also you can select, okay, you can select uh, where um, row number, okay, where where rank is equal to. So if you want ninety eight, or if you want whatever the number, okay, it will give unique number, right? If you want, okay, eighteen three card something like that, okay, just it will give the no after giving the row number so you can go and then you can give okay so if you have a 99 records you can keep a 99 record it will give uh, each record it will, <coughs> it will give unique number okay based on the id or whatever it may be okay if you how you descending or ascending okay based on that you can go and then you can get the 99th record okay so 99th record or like what whatever the record case okay if you want the fourth record it will give the fourth number okay so if you give Seventh record, we give the seventh record. Okay, whatever the record you want, to, it will give. Okay, so for that you have to use the uh, row number. It will give for each uh, each record. It will give a one unique number. Okay, that way we can find. And then last one is find the highest uh, get a second highest salary. Okay, so get second highest salary. This we can go so many ways actually. So <coughs> here I am showing only two ways. Case, okay. You can go with the CT, you can go with the derivative, you can go with the, um, uh, you know, um, self-join, you can go with the um, sub-queries, okay. So, for the sub-query case, okay, I'm going with the, okay, select max salary, it will give the max salary, okay. If you see the employee table, okay, just I'm only executing this employee table, okay, uh, employee table, order by, okay, let me execute order by, order by salary, salary descending. Okay, if you see that, so what is the second highest salary you can do? Okay, you can go and then you can. So second highest salary is a 7,000, okay? So we should get this record, okay? We should get this record, okay? So for that, what I am doing, okay, for that I am, what I am doing, so let me remove this. Okay, just, I am writing a max salary, okay? Then it will give the uh, 8,500, okay, 8,500. But, so I want less than uh, this max salary, okay? So less than me, this max salary means, okay, I'm going to write one more sub query. Okay, one more sub query. So it will give a max. Then when you when you are saying salary less than, okay, so immediate max salary. So this is the max salary. So immediate less than max salary, what it will, okay, the whatever the 7,000 is there. So if you execute till here only, okay, if you execute till here only, okay, let me show you what I will get. See, 7,000 you are getting. Okay, after that you want to the total uh, record like uh, details if you want, then you can go and then on top of that you can write the select star all columns if you want and then where a uh, salary is equal to you can write like that. Okay, so that way you can find the select max salary case. Okay, that way you can find the select max salary. Okay, we have a two. So that is the reason we are getting two. <coughs> and also dense rank. Okay, dense rank it will give the rank. Okay, it will give the rank. So see, it's getting a rank, okay, that, that is the reason. So we can go with the dense rank, okay. If you are new to dense rank, guys, okay. So I have clearly explained the derived table and dense rank and everything, okay. You can go and watch my previous videos so that you can understand very clearly, okay. So here I have created the temporary result set, okay. I created the temporary result set as a table, okay. As a table, from the table I am getting, okay, where rank is equal to two, okay. So then it will give the second highest salary. Okay, not only second highest salary, guys. Okay, whatever the number you want. Okay, second or fourth highest salary. Yes, you can go and then pass the number for fourth highest salary. 
and if you go and so see the highest first highest salary yes you can go and see the highest first highest salary also okay so in next video we'll see some how to delete a duplicate kind of things and then some scenario based question in next interview video session guys okay thank you every weekend we'll have some interview uh, question related uh, video okay yeah <clears throat> thank you thank you so much please share and subscribe guys okay please like and share and subscribe my channel if you haven't uh, subscribed please subscribe okay for more videos on sql msba and uh, uh, Power BI. Thank you.